Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. When last we left the Avatar, one of the Necromancers doesn't trust us. They're right not to, because we're not truly dedicated to the path of the Necromancer. We just want to master the magic of the Mountain King Lithos, and then move on to a different Titan's magic. We also found a piece of magic armour. It's a really good piece of armour too. It provides us with a total of 18 armour protection now, which is good. Unfortunately, no amount of uh, magical equipment is going to protect us from this lava. If we get hit by this lava, or fall into it, we will die. Let's just uh, climb up here and avoid all of the lava, as best as we can. We're going to be moving very- yes, Avatar, seek our way home. We're certainly trying. It's a little bit difficult, what with all the lava, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Anything over here? There's this way. Can we get over to here? We can. And that teleports us right to here, which is unfortunate because there's a kith right there. Let's just uh, avoid this kith, shall we? We definitely- uh... Ah, another kith. Brilliant. And by brilliant, I mean, oh no not brilliant at all. We want to uh, go and find where we need to be. And maybe it's down here. It's not down here. We need to head up uh, in this direction. Can we rest over here? The answer is yes. We're far enough away from the kith that it doesn't really matter. I'm sure they're not that bothered in uh, coming after the avatar and killing him. Are you gone from here? Speaking of which, no, you're still there. We'll just leave you to it, shall we? Ah, there is a, a ghoul that we need to face. Aha, how about thee? We will kill you. We can most certainly kill you here. Also, that was a lot of shaking there. A lot of uh, shaking indeed. Ooh, there is a uh, treasure chest here. Let's open it. What's in here? The answer is a scroll of healing. Uh, I suppose we could take it. It might be handy. What about uh, what's on this uh, body? Ooh, lots of reagents. We most certainly, uh, is this sliced executioner's hood? I don't know if that does anything in particular. Also, here is a shield, a different kind of shield. It may actually be better than the shield we're currently using. Let's just uh, remove this shield here. And uh, that's not the shield. We want to remove the shield. There we go, 14. And this uh, actually is worse. Never mind, I thought it would be uh, better. My mistake, it's actually far worse than what we're currently using. Let's just put that back on and uh, head this way. Much better. And up here we go, avoiding all of those kith that we don't really need to face. Let's just, uh, actually we need to uh, head this way. We can't get behind there. And now we head this way, avoiding all of these and hopefully we'll find another, oop, that hurt. Hopefully we'll find another necromancer nearby who will uh, teach us more things. We found more changelings, we don't want to find them at all. Have at thee! We just need to defeat you as quickly as possible. Fortunately you transformed into your uh, natural form, which means that you drop loot. Because if you uh, don't do that, you don't drop any loot. There we go, we want this money, we'll just uh, grab that, not that much money. And we'll grab, where is the money? There's the money, we'll grab that, and then we'll move on. Marvelous. This way we go. There's a lot of uh, earthquakes happening here. Nothing there. Anything here? No. No. Lots of explosions are happening, though. Anything here? The answer is, oh, well, there's another explosion. We can't really stay here, can we? We just, oh, we really need to keep moving. Maybe we'll be safe over here, just hiding away. If the necromancer can perceive anything around them, I can imagine them just see the avatar run over here, rest and go, hmm, maybe this one isn't necromancer material. Let's go and talk to you, shall we? We do need a uh, death speak ready, and we can prepare one quite easily. There we go, we have this bag here. We need some, uh, Blood and bone. We have plenty of blood and quite a lot of bone here. We just need one vial. Just one. We'll just move one over. There we go. And one bone. There we go. And now we will talk to you. After we have uh, made this spell. I believe it is uh, this. There we go. We'll just use that there. And 
then we will use this on you. Hello. Well, Apprentice, you have nearly completed your test. You seem to have fared well, young one. Thank you, Necromancer. The road has been hard. And harder still will it become, live one. Your final test is at hand. The next Necromancer you seek is Gallius. If you prove yourself worthy, Gallius will provide you with that which you need to gain an audience with the Mountain King. I am ready, Necromancer. Gallius will be the judge of that, live one. Now listen carefully, for without my knowledge, you will never live to see Gallius. A necromancer deals always with death. Yet sometimes a necromancer must be able to resist death in order to continue to serve his master. I have this spell, it's called Rock Flesh, and it makes me immune to damage. That's not what I mean. Oh, therefore, when the time arrives, take wood, dirt, and blackmore. Say the words, Vas and Corp and focus this magic upon yourself. How will I know when to use this spell? That I cannot tell you. You must decide this for yourself, but be warned. You may only use this spell once. Therefore, use it wisely. You must go now. Good fortune upon you, apprentice. And we teleport one more time. We need to uh, have a look and see if anything is going to collapse on our head, like it did there. It sounds like that's the last time we're going to be teleporting, because, uh, there's a sort of, uh, undertone in that dialogue of, hey, this is your final test here. Do well, and you will get to where you need to be. You will get to the Mountain King. We need to be careful, though. In fact, I'm going to save, because by the sounds of it, we're going to encounter something that will most certainly absolutely kill us. Or we'll, uh put us in a situation where we could die. There we go. Let's move on, shall we? This way. And there is a, a switch here. Can we use this? I don't know. There's something here. Can we open this up? That uh, opens that. And this, if we uh, use that, opens up there. And there is a skeleton. Just one solitary skeleton who seems unable to get out of here. Well, that's fine, we'll- uh, Aha! You did get out! Don't worry, just come over here. You're not going to go over there, are you? Just follow me. I'm sure I can lead you so far away from there that you will never actually be able to, uh, catch up and, uh, attack us. Because really, we do- Ooh, there's a switch there. I did not notice that switch. I did not notice uh, both of these switches. I'm sure they won't be important. Let's just go in here and see what's in here. Ooh, reagents. We want these. Grab that. And this. Anything else in here? I think I saw one more reagent. Is there one there? The answer is no. We're just going to leave. Goodbye, you. We don't need to see you anymore. Okay. What's over here? Ah, Kith. Goodbye. No desire to fight you. No desire to fight you at all. Anything over here? There's a small passageway in that direction. And there's a much larger one over there. Let's go down the smaller one first, just in case we uh, find anything awesome down there. We are definitely being pursued by a lot of uh, enemies, though. Nothing over here at all so far. You can tiptoe all you like, Avatar. There's still nothing here. And there is, uh, something that's going to, uh, fire at us. I get the feeling we can't actually get past that without, uh, the spell that we were taught just now. Let's go the other way first, just in case, though. We may find something different over there. And it would seem like the Kith and Skeleton have decided just to go away. There is a room here. There's something up there. I want that. Let's find out what's up there, shall we? Need to walk very carefully up, and just jump up. There we go! There we go, Avatar! What is in here? Ah, more things that we can use, like more reagents. We need more reagents. We really don't need more reagents, but we will get more reagents. We can never have too many. Not really. What is this bag? That bag is not the bag we want. This bag is full of reagents, but we can just put more reagents in here. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go, we'll put this reagent in there too. And we'll put this reagent in. We have uh, this reagent as well. And that reagent, and this reagent. We'll close the bag, we'll open the bag, and nothing has been sorted. That's okay, we'll rummage through that another time. We'll just uh, add that to there. We can grab the reagents we need as we go along. We'll uh, drop down here, no damage at all sustained. And we'll have a look behind this location. There's certainly something over here, but I don't think we can get uh, past here. We need to go the other way. We're definitely going to need to cast that spell, aren't we? That spell that we can use only once. Imagine casting that right next to the necromancer going, You mean like this? And the necromancer goes, Oh no. Oh well, you're going to die, aren't you? Too bad, you almost look competent. We will save, and we'll try that spell. Maybe it'll work. The spell we need to cast requires wood, dirt, and black more. And if uh, the Necromancer is correct, we only ever need to use this spell once. Let's grab uh, one piece of wood. There we go. One piece of uh, dirt. There is dirt. Just uh, one. And one piece of black moor. There we go. We now have all that we need in there. We need to double check that it is the right bag. It's not that bag, and it's uh, not that bag. It is this bag. We'll cast that, and now we have this. Withstand death. Let's give it a go, shall we? What's the worst that could happen? We have now used it. Let's go this way. And uh, that has uh, hopefully done what we wanted it to, because we are now here. And we have withstood death. At least I hope that's what we were meant to do. Hello, it's a troll! Do we actually want to fight you? I'll just leave you be, actually. No reason to fight you, I'll just go this way. And, uh, head over here. And this is when we find out that I actually should have used the spell a little bit later on, and I could have just timed, uh, getting through that area a little bit better. Ooh, loot! Ooh, a ghoul! Have at thee! And then, we did cast that spell at the wrong moment. There's lots of nice stuff in here. Like a vial of blood. And is that a dead man's elbow? There's an executioner's hood. There is a pile of bone shards. And here is a leg. Don't need the leg. Took everything else we needed though, but not the leg. We shall go this way. And over here is a small corridor that leads over... Uh oh careful! That didn't hit us on the head this time! Progress! Ah, there's a skeleton. Don't mind me! Ooh, there's a pouch there, though. We could do with that. If you'd like to come this way... Excellent. Just keep following me, both of you. We're going on an adventure! We're going this way so that eventually you will stop following me and we will be able to, uh, by we I mean the Avatar, we'll be able to progress and uh, ignore the fact that you're here. Goodbye. See you later. We're just going to uh, very quickly go... Oh, there are two more! Oh dear. Not so good. We're just going to go over here now and uh, rest because uh, that's a lot of skeletons. Maybe if we rest, you'll all go away. You just decide, you know what? Fighting the Avatar is useless. Let's just uh, go and uh, relax and play chess. But I hate chess. It's literally the only game that we have. That's only because, oh look, we're still here. Maybe if I just quickly... Uh, I'm going to have to fight you, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, let's just fight you as we are very slowly combo to death. Aha! You cannot survive me, for I have the ability to just hit you lots of times. Hopefully we can very quickly have a look at what's over here. Don't mind me, I'm just going to uh, move this body over here a little bit, and then we're going to have a look uh, over there. Can I move this body? There we go. Oh, you're back up. You did not like me moving you. Maybe we can't actually have a look at what's over there. Not by, uh, just, uh, trying to avoid fighting you. We'll try one more time, though. Worst case scenario is that we actually have to fight you. I think we need to, uh, switch weapons, too. 
I have a feeling that uh, this weapon is not as good compared to this. Hello, you're over here now. Well, how about thee? Aha! Much better. You did manage to hit me from all the way over there, but that's okay. We're just going to run away now and uh, pretend that you weren't there. And there's no skeleton here now, which means that we could open this up and find out what's in here. Lots of reagents. Let's just take it and move on, shall we? Anything else? A shield? We don't need that. It's not magical. Let's keep going, shall we? Ah, we have found this place. This place looks important. This place is very important because uh, this place is... Oh, hello, there's a ghost. Goodbye. Don't want to fight you. I'd rather go back here and uh, risk fighting someone dead. This indeed is no time to rest. Is that because the second skeleton is somewhere around here? It may be because the second skeleton is somewhere around here, but I'm just going to go over here, rest, and pretend you didn't attack me, and then we'll be back in a little bit. There we go. Are you gone now? Well, there isn't a uh, pair of skeletons over there. We're just going to go this way. Close the door so that the uh, ghost can't get in. We're going to have a bit of a conversation with this uh, necromancer. There we go. We do need to uh, make another spell. This might be the last time that we use the uh, Death Speak spell. What do we want? We just need blood and bone. We have plenty of both. We just need uh, one of the uh, bone, one of the blood, and then to use uh, this item that we have. There we go. Excellent. We have one of what we need. Time to use it on you. You have reached me and therefore proven yourself worthy. Lithos has instructed me to give you a spell which would allow you to gain entrance to the Hall of the Mountain King. Is that where Lithos resides? You already know that, Apprentice. Do not let your excitement cloud your mind. The Hall is guarded by doors which no living creature may open. In order to gain entrance, you must raise a golem of the very element which is our Lord Lithos. A golem made of earth. Yes, now listen carefully, for like the other necromancers, I will only tell you this spell once. Blood, bone, wood, dirt, and blackmore. So pretty much every single reagent that's used in necromancy. Yes, actually, now you mention it. Apart from Dead Man's Elbow and Executioner's Hood, aha, they are not used in it. You're right. Of course I'm right, I'm the necromancer. Say these words of power, in ort lelm zen. Focus this magic upon a broad space of mud, and the golem will be created. Seek out Stone Cove. You shall reach it by way of the catacombs. Once you have found Stone Cove, there you shall need to create your golem. Only the golem shall be able to open the door which shall stand before you. I understand, Necromancer. It is good that you do. Now be gone. Go to the Mountain King. We will, don't worry. You have to just uh, go through this door and uh, leave. Probably up these stairs. Has the ghost reappeared? No. Let's just go this way. This may even lead us back to the uh, upper catacombs. Will it? I think it does. We are now here, which is uh, good. We need to uh, go and have a look around. We are high above this... Uh, catacomb area. We need to uh, go and have a look down there at some point. You should hear the pleas for help, Avatar. We really do want to uh, get out of here as quickly as possible. That was a very unceremonious fall there. I will jump gracefully. Ow! I hit this small debris and then I fell. Fortunately, I was able to get back up. We want to go uh, west, quite a... Or we could just fall into some lava and die. That's what I was planning on doing, Avatar. Falling into some lava and dying. That wasn't what I was planning at all. But that's okay, because we literally saved right here. You should hear the pleas for help, Avatar. Are you repeating yourself because I ignored you the first time, Guardian? Because you keep saying that. You continually say that, and we fell like that again. With all the grace of a small stone. Let's just... Oh, there's a ghost. We don't want to fight you. There are lots... Ooh, there are lots of these here. 
we really just need to uh, run away from them. We want to run away as far as we can. There may be something over here that we want. Is there something over here that we want? There may be. I just need to find something. Something very important. Let's just uh, see what we can find. Is there a way up here, maybe? We need to go up here, perhaps? North a bit? Is there anything here? There is nothing there. Okay, more of those things that will just explode. Don't want to uh, encounter them. Anything over here? No, ah, uh, we're back here, actually. We have got back to here. I think we might not want to be here, though. We did find a key, though. Maybe that key might be important for something. We are literally backtracking uh, upon ourselves, though. This might not be the route that we want to take. Probably not. Let's go back the way we came and uh, see if we can find where we actually want to go. We did get a key, after all. That key might be useful. Okay. This way instead, and we want to go back here. There was a ghost. I don't think the ghost will uh, still be here, however. Maybe the ghost will still be here. They're still here. They're just going to explode on us. We uh, don't want them to explode upon us. So we'll just uh, head back the way we came and avoid that lava. Definitely avoid that lava. And when we come back, folks, we will keep searching around and see if we can find where we need to go. Hello, Skull. You exploded. This does not surprise me. We're back here in the catacombs. We'll surely find where we need to go. We need to find Stone Cove, after all. We'll find where we need to go. The Stone Cove. And there's another one of those skulls. Hopefully Stone Cove isn't that far away. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.